What is a zero cavitation filter kit? Do I need to buy it? Montana from Suncoast Performance, let's dive into it. And the answer is yes. Everyone should be familiar with what is in my hand right now. This is a off the shelf OEM style 68 RFE filter. It's an okay design except for one detrimental downfall centered around this silicon plug right here on the back side. This plug has been known to fall out, causing us to suck air. We don't want to suck air, it's supposed to be sucking fluid. Sucks air, causes cavitation, and that will result in low button pressure in the transmission. The Suncoast solution to it is our zero cavitation filter kit. This is our billet zero cavitation filter block. This is the heart and soul of it. This is what allows us to adapt the 727 style filter to the 68. Also in the bag, we have our new aluminum suction tube with grommets that are pre-installed. These are better grommets than factory. How do I put this stuff together? Step one, on the longer side of this filter suction tube here, go ahead and remove your grommet and install it in the port at the front of our billet block. Now, a little bit of ATF or even transmission assembly jelly helps this portion of it. Go ahead, take the new suction tube and gently slide it into our billet filter block. Our other grommet that is on here, we'll go ahead and remove that. That's gonna go on the pump side of your transmission. I would remove the factory style and replace it with our grommet. It is a double lip, much better seal. Once that is installed, same deal. Transmission jelly or ATF works just fine. We're gonna go ahead and gently ease that into the pump setup. One more thing to note about our billet filter block here, there is a notch. This notch is designed to hug tightly against some of our valve body bolts here, ensuring that we have a stable contact. Set this in place, we've engaged it within our pump. In the bag, we also have a new longer valve body to case bolt to take up the difference with this. Go ahead and install that, torque it to the factory spec, which is 100 inch pounds. Once that is done, Try to get that to stay in place. We can take our 20, 727 style filter with accompanying hardware and our smaller washers. We can go ahead and install this guy. Being sure to align your suction port with the billet tube pickup port. It's a little funky trying to do this uh, without having a pump to hold everything solid in place. Once that is done, We'll put in our second washer and our second bolt. Now there is no official torque spec on these. Hand tight, you guys don't wanna go and collapse the filter, smash it down, and we're in, okay. That really is it. Inside your hardware bag, you will notice there is a third larger washer. This is actually used as a shim. Now, depending on what type of channel plate you guys have, whether it be OEM or one of ours, those are flat. There is no bolt hole recession. Some of the other aftermarket channel plates have a bolt recession where this is needed. Reason for that, this needs to sit nice and flush on the channel plate itself. If not, it'll sit there and rock around. We don't want that to happen. So shim, only use as needed. What pan do I need? What pan fits? We do sell the zero cavitation kit with two pans, one being the factory style sheet metal pan. It has to be the 90 degree one. It cannot be the sloped one. 90 degree sheet metal pan does fit. We have options for that. Those of you at home that want a more premium option for it, we also do offer this with our Suncoast diecast pan. Diecast is a lot less porous than traditional sand cast, like most other pans out there in the market. That means better heat dissipation as well as strength. Now that being said as well, you notice there is not a lot of cooling fins in here that you're traditionally used to seeing, and that is to allow that filter to sit as low in the pan as it can, thus giving us the most cool fluid for suction. You at home that may already have an upgraded pan, I cannot guarantee fitment on that, especially if it does have cooling fins in it, so you guys at home, be aware of that. Check out this, along with some other great 68 RFE products at suncoastperformance.com. Thanks for joining us.